What's up guys, it's your girl Bomb Jalime and I don't know about y'all, but the NBA restart has had my nerves shot, okay? From NBA game winners, to close games, to crazy dunks, to 8-0 runs, okay? Shout out to the Suns. Everything has been going on in the bubble and I'm so here for it. I'm happy that the NBA is back and with a purpose. So the NBA playoffs continue. There'll be four games on Monday and four on Tuesday. To kick off things on the Eastern Conference at four o'clock PM on ESPN, we have the second seeded Raptors versus the seventh seeded Nets. And while the Nets are the seventh seed, I do believe that they will give the Raptors a run during this series. And I say this because Brooklyn has some good offensive and defensive pieces on their team despite not having many of their players down in the bubble with them. They have people like Harris LeVert, Jared Allen who is a dog down low in the post, Joe Harris who's always been a great shooter, Rodion's cool roots who can give you a little bit of something on both ends of the court. So I'm going to give the Nets at least two games and I think the series will go to six. I love this talent that is also on the Raptors with Pascal, Van Vliet, Mark Gasol. He seems to just get better and better every year. Serge Ibaka, Norman Powell. He also can give you a little bit on both ends of the court as well. OG and Anobi. They have so much talent. Just don't sleep. I know that the Raptors will win this series. I believe that the Raptors will win that series, but it will be a good one to watch in my honest opinion. All right, guys. So next up on Monday at 6.30 p.m., you can catch this game on ESPN. The three-seeded Celtics against the six-seeded 76ers. And these are two teams that I thoroughly enjoy watching. They both have so much talent on them between Tatum, Jalen Brown, Kimber Walker, who is one of my favorite point guards. The list goes on and on. And so I believe that the Celtics will pull off this series. However, I do think the Sixers could get one, maybe two games. I'm going to give it a five, six possible range. But I feel like the Sixers are somewhat depleted right now without Ben. Embiid recently being hurt so he has to kind of like rest and make sure he doesn't hurt himself again because now he's the one I believe that the team is going to rely on to an extent and so they're going to need him to be healthy and they're going to need him to dominate okay not dominate dominate period so don't get me wrong Philadelphia has so much talent between Thibault who's been a great rookie for them and a great defensive force for them Furkan Korkmaz who's a great shooter Tobias Harris, Al Horford, Josh Richardson, who went off in the game versus the Blazers. I know that the Sixers, they're gonna come out and they're gonna play well. They always fight to the end. So there's no doubt in my mind that they're gonna play hard, but I do believe that Celtics, they have what it takes. On Tuesday, 1.30 p.m. on TNT, we have the one-seeded Bucks versus the eighth-seeded Magic. I'm giving this series a good sweep. Aaron Gordon, Markel Fultz, and Nikola Vucevic are all very talented, but I'm not seeing them carrying this team to any wins or to a series win versus the Bucks. Next, Bucks, they have 50 plus wins for a reason. The Bucks are very good defensively and offensively, so I'm not really gonna give the Magic any wins versus this team. I think they could benefit from possibly trading some players. On Tuesday, rounding off the Eastern Conference at four o'clock p.m., there is the four-seeded Pacers versus the fifth-seeded Miami Heat. And while the Miami Heat is a seed under the Pacers, I do believe they will pull off this series win. They have so many good players and they are good on both ends of the floor. They have a star in Jimmy Butler, a rising star in Tyler Hero. I can't even get over how great Bam Adebayo has been this season. In my opinion, Oladipo hasn't been playing the way we're accustomed to him playing. And on top of that, Warren recently got hurt. I'm not really seeing the Pacers being able to pull off a series win versus the Heat. I will give the Pacers one to two games, so the series could go possibly five or six. But none more than that. I know the Pacers, they're gonna come out and fight and they have a great coach in Nate McMillan, but the Heat will ultimately win. All right, guys, kicking off thanks for the Western Conference are the three-seeded Nuggets and the six-seeded Jazz. 
this series will be fun to watch because both of these teams whenever they match up it is so competitive and there are two of the best centers in the league matching up with Jokic and Gobert. Even though they have two different play styles and Gobert is more so of an old school non-shooting center, but he still is effective. And Jokic, I almost look at him as like a point forward instead of a center because he's just so talented when it comes to making good and smart plays. So I'm going to give this series about six games. I think the Nuggets will win, but I think the Jazz will do what it takes to get a couple wins as well. And so I'm gonna give the Jazz two and the Nuggets four. And I believe the Nuggets will win this one out. All right guys, so rounding off the games on Monday for the Western Conference at 9 p.m. on ESPN is the Mavericks and the Clippers. And this matchup is going to be crazy. I believe that the Mavs have what it takes to push this series to seven games. And don't get me wrong, the Clippers are extremely talented, but so are the Dallas Mavericks. I honestly believe that this will be one of the most intense first round playoff series, 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 what? <laughs> One of the most intense series starting off the playoffs this year. I believe that this one is going to go to seven and I do think the Clippers will win it. But I have no doubt as to the possibility that the Mavs could win up to three games during this series. All right, guys. So the Rockets Thunder ended with the same record at the end of the season. And so they ended with the fourth and fifth seed in the Western Conference and will match up in the first round of the playoffs. I think this is so interesting because the Rockets now have Thunder's old franchise player and it's vice versa. Now Chris Paul is the leader of the Thunder and everyone thought the Thunder was not going to be in contention this season. Everyone assumed they would be a lottery team and they would be struggling to win games and the opposite has ringed true. I believe that the Thunder could possibly upset the Rockets because offense wins games but defense wins championships and the Rockets have made strides to improve their defense but they're not all that great this year. I think that the Thunder could definitely pull off the upset as the fifth seed and actually win this series. I do think it could possibly go to seven games. I'm giving Thunder the edge. All right guys, so rounding off the talent on the Western Conference are the one seeded Lakers versus the eight seeded Blazers. And I just want to give a standing ovation to the Blazers. They have fought tooth and nail to even make it into playoff contention, played a playing game versus the Grizzlies and won. And Damian Lillard has been playing like someone who is out of his friggin' mind. You have to give props. Now, although Lakers are one of the favorites to actually win the championship this year, I do believe the Blazers could possibly push the series to five possibly six games. The Blazers are somewhat depleted. They don't have Ariza. Zach Collins has just been injured and they've been playing a lot. So they're pretty tired. I'm not sure how they're going to fare against the Lakers, especially because their defense is just so bad. I would like to see the Blazers go deeper in the playoffs, but I don't know if this year is their year. They have some improvements to make and they just need to get overall better on defense. And like I said before, offense wins games, but defense wins championships. I have to tip my hat to the Blazers for doing what they had to do to get in to the playoffs. Like I have so much respect for Dame. He's one of my favorite point guards. And I'm just happy to see that they're gonna have a chance to at least make a run. You know, it's probably gonna be a short run, but at least they have the opportunity to make a run into the playoffs. All right, guys, so those are my predictions for the first round of the NBA playoffs. I think that most of the series will be very fun to watch and very competitive, and I'm excited to see them kick off this Monday. Let me know if you agree with my predictions below in the comments, and I will be doing an updated prediction video for the second round once the first round is over. But yeah, guys, Thank you for watching my video and I will see y'all in my next one.